Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So there's gonna be a couple more videos after this about the Mega Crab, but this is one of the very last videos uh, I will be doing like this. Next ones might be like one stage each because I'm not sure I'll be able to get two stages or three stages. But anyway guys, this is a stage 40. I am so surprised I made it up to stage 40, but to be honest, I wanted to get up to like 50. And the top people at like 65 right now, and I it's, it's 12 o'clock here in the, the day. So... I like people have already ended and I still have six hours left this makes up for all those times where people got it before me then I have it last basically so anyway I'm very happy with how these attacks went um, and I I wouldn't change anything uh, but yes we have six hours left on my thing so I was trying to get some attacks done at the end you don't want to be left with any attacks and I know a lot of people are very disappointed with this all the top players because um, it, what I've heard is you don't get anything if you get into the top leaderboard and that like wow I mean I, I thought they would give away something a badge a flag or something like that but nothing so I just think it was kind of silly and I think they do need to add something because top players put so much time and put so much money and power powder into this event just to get nothing it's like wow like that needs to change and anyway uh, that stage is I, I don't know. I'm going to be boosting you, and I'm going to be doing a live attack. And I got my tank, medic, scorcher combination. I am loving it. The scorcher is just a tank. Uh, shock launchers and rocket launchers. Because rocket launchers, tons of rocket launchers will damage your tanks. So you just have to watch out for that. But I am moving in. This stage was not the best stage, I'll, I'll admit. I kind of, uh, maybe use like five attacks, I think. But anyway, um, here we go. I'm just trying to move into the base. And there's so many shield generators on the right hand side and I should have, I don't know if I would, I should have took them down, but I didn't. Anyway, I just kind of moved up into the base without taking them down and you'll see how it went. Can't say it went well, it didn't, uh, it didn't even go close to well, um, but I probably could have did it in a lot less attacks. Anyway, we're moving into the base here, we're barraging the shock launcher, we gotta take down that shock launcher behind the HQ, because that's literally holding up all the power. And that Scorcher is just tanking all the shock launchers, which was nice. I uh, shocked the shock launcher to get my tanks into a, a good lined up position um, without the shock launcher. Fine, but I just lost my Scorcher by all those boom cannons on the top right hand side. And it was kind of bad. I mean, that's like the main tanking force and that was pretty much what I needed left. But I do a flare back as soon as that shock launcher dies. And it is still a shock launcher firing at my medics, but I think my tanks are out of it. So as soon as my medics all die, I think it will stop firing. But as you see, that boom cannon on the top is shooting at me, so it's pretty much game over from here. And I was trying to take to take it down on this try, but no way. And I thought I would take it down on the next try, but you'll see what happens then. Anyway, here we go. We are on to the HQ, and what I'm seeing, guys, there was like 3.4 million HP. On, uh, no, with that, like, almost 4 million HP on that, with all the shield generators up and running. So, you, you need something that has high DPS, and the only thing that has that high DPS to take it down is something with Zookas. Zookas, Zookas, Zookas. And the only, and that, that laser beam, if you are going to use any Zookas combination, you gotta take down that laser beam, because the laser beam is just going to fry. And nowhere can you get out of range of that laser beam. So what I need to do is I need to come in with tanks and scorches. We're going to be doing the exact same combination. I got to take down that laser beam and I can't barrage it because the laser beam has like 80,000 health or oh, close to 100,000 health. So it would be very close. I mean, I could barrage it, but then the attack would pretty much be wasted. And I could probably take down other buildings, not just a laser beam. So what I do is I'm just going to just focus on the laser beam i'm just gonna go straight into the base and just try to t try to take down that laser beam and then my next attacks i'll try to take down the hq i'll try to take down all three million of the hp of it or four million hp um so yeah it wasn't the best stage but i would say i executed the attack plan very good anyway we're releasing some critters up there and then we will be dropping a couple shocks around and we will be taking down that laser beam, which needs to be taken down. And then as soon as that takes is uh, taken down, I will be doing a flare back. So it's hard because you want to be out of range of the shock launchers, but you also want to be out of range of the rock launchers on the top. 
and you can't get out of range of both of them. So what I needed to do is I needed to come in with Hookah after this attack and just wipe out, just dead, just go all out on the HQ basically. So now the only thing I have left in this attack is I have to take down these machine guns at the top and that went good. I was able to take down all of those machine guns and I was very happy with how, how that went and uh, yeah, probably should have flared to that boom cannon. Um, but no, but most of them go over there anyway, but a few don't. But anyway, this attack was a success. I got what I ca I got what I came for, which is taking down the laser beam and the machine guns, and that worked out good. Anyway, here we are moving into the next attack here, and this is the attack I just showed you. Whoops. Okay, so here we go. This is my second to last attack on this base, and... You guys will just see the power of how much power was on this HQ. So I do a reflip back. I have to shock the rocket launcher so I could get in range. We're dropping a med kit. And then we're going to flare to the HQ. And there, my heavies all spread out, which is good. And just watching and seeing how long these hookahs are hooked on. This is at times two speed and it's barely going down. Uh, this attack took out, I don't, it was like 3 million health. No, no, it wasn't a total. Yeah, it was like... It was like 3 million health that I took down in this HQ with just this attack. That's a lot of HP even for Zookas. So anyway, here we go. This is the final attack. I was able just to come in with the exact same combination to the exact same thing. And I don't know if it would have been beneficial to try to take down the shield generators. I mean, I definitely could have went a lot faster. Um, but was it is it worth an attack? You would have to use like a warrior rush and on those shield generators that's not something i wanted to do so um you, yeah i don't know if that's like on gearheart you would do something like that but on this i don't know speaking of gearheart gearheart was yesterday i did not even attack gearheart because all day troops are training up just for one attack it like <laughs> your defense log is like no one attacks you the whole week of mega crab which was awesome but kind of silly at the same time but anyway here we go on to stage 41 and we are going to destroy the stage now I, I accidentally retrained all my troops and I was like okay well I do have a boost on and I'm not gonna wait more time for a different combination to train up and I had like almost max attack so that's why I didn't want to wait too so I just decided to attack it and even though I had heavy zuka which was pretty much the worst combination for that base well, I mean, Ruka would have been worse, but it was a pretty bad combination for the base. But um, now I'm moving in. I'm getting smart with my attacks here. I'm moving in with Skank and, or Torch, however you want to say it. So we're dropping our Scorchers first, then we're dropping our tanks. And we're going to go from the right-hand side, which was kind of stupid. Why did I place that flare? Um, and let's see here. We are going to... We need to shock that Boom Cannon as soon as it hooks on. So it looks like it's hooking on, so... We're going to drop it in a second here. Yeah, there we go. We're going to shock the boom cannon as soon as my troops start moving up. We are going to be needing to take down that. And I do not have enough energy to take down that. This, it's insane how much HP. I should look at the HP boost. It's like a 120% right now. Or I should I should look at it. Uh, but yes, our troops are moving into the base. And we are going to be able to wipe out the base. Not this attack, of course. But yes, we need, we need to distract this Doom Cannon because that thing is wrecking my Scorchers. It'll like one-shotted my Scorchers, guys. My Scorchers have like 50,000 health and that thing one-shotted them. Or two-shot or whatever. It was bad. So I did this Reflare, which was kind of stupid of me, I'll admit, because that Boom Cannon just wipes it out. I've noticed a lot of things that I do bad are bad. I always try to do Reflares back and by the time they all get back, they all die. So maybe I shouldn't Reflare at all. I'll just continue the damage. Unless I have smoke, I could distract them in. But here we go. We are moving into the next stage. There's a lot of background sounds. So if you guys hear that, that's why. we got to take down that Doom Cannon. And we are moving in with this strat again. It's the Modified Torch or Skank combination. I'm loving it. That one Scorcher will tank all the rocket launchers, which was amazing. That's exactly what you want to happen. And instead of the rocket launchers all hitting your tanks... And you'll see as soon as this Scorcher goes down, all these tanks are going to die. They'll die so fast. Because even though they're rocket launchers, and rocket launchers are pretty bad against tanks, when they have a boost like that in a damage amplifier, 
with a high almost 100% defensive damage boost it gets bad it gets really really bad but anyway we're gonna be doing flares up here to try flank the base which was kind of stupid I, I mean well it's not that stupid I wanted to come down take out the shield generator so if I wanted to I could move in with the next attack and try taking it down um, and you'll see I pretty much had a whole wasted attack and you'll see that in the next one but I'm taking down all the shield generators my medics are pretty much all dead because they're being dumb standing out in the open and yeah look at that so those machine guns even though we're in damage amp they're not gonna do anything but I just tried to distract the boom cannon completely forgot about the machine gun now I should have placed it and it would have helped so much more and uh, yeah anyway it's one shotting my tubes I end up placing a shock on the boom, doom cannon, doom cannon, boom cannon, boom cannon, doom cannon, and here we go. This attack was a waste. I mean, this attack was good. But my next attack, I decided to come in with tank medic, which is so dumb of me. I should have just warrior rushed to HQ, did a bunch of shocks. I probably could have got it, but that's not what I did. So we take down that. We try to get up to the top. They show the doom cannon. I have no idea what I was thinking, guys. To be honest. Um, but yeah, this is what I did try. This is what I decided to do. And it was a waste of attack. I how I'm in. And there was only 300,000 health on the HQ, so it could have easily we could have easily beat it. You know what I'm saying, bro? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, here we go. The doom cannon goes down. And now the only thing we have left to actually kill our tanks is the cannons and the boom cannon on the bottom there or on the top, I guess you would say. So, I didn't see that Doom Cannon on the top when I started. That's probably why I went in with the strat. Because I thought I could just take out all the cannons and then just move away. But yes, all medics were retreating. Because medics won't do any DPS. And here we are into the last attack. And we are using... Um, we're using warriors. I lost my train of thought there. And our warriors are moving in. We do place that uh, artillery to take down the mines. Now we flee to the HQ. We drop a couple smokes and we're gonna do a double tap smoke which was it went okay and here we go we are on the HQ and we drop our med kits and we will beat the base and when the smoke is about to wear off I can shock every single defense but I don't shock every single defense at rock launcher there not a big deal not a big deal at all these warriors are super boosted up so we were able to beat the base thank you all for watching I hope you all liked the video. If you did, be sure to drop a like. As always, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.